Multilateralism has never been as critically important as it is today. When we look at the loss of the Brexit vote in the UK, the Italian referendum, the Colombian referendum on the peace, and the rather unexpected result of the US election, what do they all have in common? The fact that there was low participation, the majority allowed a minority to take decisions for them in many cases, decisions that they are now regretting. Why did that happen? The youth, which in the Brexit case, for example, 60% of the youth did not vote, even though their future was at stake. They no longer believe in those processes which we put together. The casualties of the crisis are growth, jobs, there's growing inequality, but there's also a very serious collapse of Trust. Trust in what? Well, presidents, prime ministers, ministers, political parties, parliaments, multinationals, banking systems, democracy itself. And because they don't believe in democracy, the young people who are frustrated with the results of globalization so far, what they do is they don't go. They don't participate. And because they don't participate, you have these rather unexpected results. So basically what you're seeing is a connection between economy, and the fragmentation of the economic results, moving on to the fragmentation of the politics, political parties on the right, on the left, uh, with very extreme positions, with mandates for leaders who are, you know, either very, very fragile coalitions, very thin majorities, and therefore very little room for leaders to take the bold decisions. You basically have this connection between the economy and the globalization process, as we understand it, the very low growth of trade, the very low growth of investment, the problems with credit and the dissemination, especially to the small and medium enterprises, and this question of the collapse of trust, the answer is no, don't go it alone. Let's go it collectively. Never lose the multilateral, the international cooperative spirit. The work starts now.